Good day everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be exploring on how we can do data analysis using the free online version of Excel. The main intent of this video is to enable learning of Excel for everyone, even if you don't have the page subscription. All you need is a free Microsoft account and you can log on to Office 365 on the web and get started with your free online version of Excel. The, the free online version of Excel does have some limitations in terms of features, but a lot of the features which you will need for your data analysis tasks are present. And also an advantage of the free online version of Excel is that all the latest formulas and functions are available that Microsoft release on a regular basis and you can make full use of that for doing complex data analysis tasks. I'll also link some other videos which I have used the free online version for some other tips and tricks in this video. For this video, I'm going to be using the employee sample data.csv file. I have obtained this data set from the web. I'm going to be sharing the link in the description so you can download the file and feel free to follow along so you can practice along with me. Let's take a look at the file. I've uploaded this file to, to OneDrive. So this is the file in the comma separated file format. As you can see, it has all data separated by commas. However, the date format is in MMDD YYY. And again, when you're opening it, Excel will try to convert it into the specific format of that is set on your computer. So you may encounter some errors in the desktop version, but however, in the online version, it will convert it very seamlessly. If you need to see the workarounds or how you can uh, seamlessly transform the data and the and the date time fields on the, rest, on the desktop version, do let me know and I'll make a video on that as well. But for now, let's see the online version. So Excel, uh, online version of Excel will upload the data and it will convert the dates as well as some other fields which it deems to be numeric fields and it will clean the data for you as well so that it can be used in the in the ready format so let's take a look i have uploaded the file on on, on my onedrive and i'm opening the file so excel will open the file now and you can see it's converting the file so you can edit it so that means it's going to convert all the data types as a necessary sees fit so this is a very cool uh, cool feature there in the online version of Excel. In the desktop version, you will have to take some other few steps to do this, which I will show you in another video. Do, do leave a comment and let me know if you want to see that. Okay. So it has loaded the file. You can see all the fields have loaded. Let us try to expand this. You can see it has converted the date into the proper DDMM YYY format as per my account. You can see the annual salary and you can see this is now a date column. The annual salary is a custom column. It's a numeric column and you can check, check the exit date as well. So all the data looks good. Let me first rename this sheet properly. I'll call this as my data sheet. Okay. Now the first step I would do is I will convert this uh, range into a table. So this will help me to easily format the data to do complex formulas and it really helps us to do good data analysis if you convert it into a table. So always convert your data into a table. So let's take a look. If you want to know the features of the table and the advantages of using a table, leave a comment below and I'll make a video on that as well. So now I will click on the table here. Okay. It's just my table as headers. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see it's converted into the into this beautiful table. And I can easily format my data here. So first, what I want to do is I'm going to hire, uh, I'm going to add another field called hire year. Okay. And the reason I will show you later. Okay. Actually, this will help me group my data by year. I can do this easily using a pivot table in the desktop version, but that feature is not there in the online version, but you can do this quick, uh, quick workaround and it will help you analyze your data very easily. So let's see. So I'll click on this function helper here. It's a very easy way to enter the function. I'll type on here, click on next. Okay. Let me select the higher date and click insert. This is the advantage of the table. It automatically automatically fills down for the rest of the cells. You can see it automatically fill that need not copy it down and do all the other things which I would need to do with the range. So a good, a, a good advantage. Now let's try to analyze this data. So I'm going to create a new sheet. Let's name my sheet as analysis. Okay. I'll put my pivot tables here. So now I want to do is create a pivot table. I create a, a pivot table. I'll use this table and range. 
So I'll enter in the existing worksheet. So I go here, I'll select this cell below. I'll leave some space for any other filtering or formatting details that I want to add later. So I'm going to click on OK. And it's added my pivot table here. Now you see, I'll just show you why I added the higher here. If I put, put in the higher date, okay, I can drag this in the rows. You can see the free online version of Excel lists every single date and it doesn't group it. And there's no grouping in a feature available here, right? So I, I have the higher year, which I did it in the previous sheet. So I just copy the higher year. And now I can, it is grouped by each and every year. And I can see the employees that have been hired over time. Nicely, I can drag the, uh, the employee ID into the values column as you can see now simple for this i want to insert a visual to better explain my data and just press alt f1 it's a quick shortcut to insert a chart and it inserts a nice chart for me you can see here so this is a chart over time so this is better represented by a line chart so let me change this here and choose a line chart okay this is a much better view let me go ahead and delete the grid lines we don't need that Oh, I deleted the graph by mistake. Let me bring it back. Okay. Create other grid lines. Now I'll click on this chart and let's try to format the chart to make it more clear. Okay. So one cool feature that you can do is you can add something called as a trend line. You can see the trend that is there available for you. Okay. And it will really help you forecast your data in a time series manner. So this is loading. Yes, it's loaded. Change the chart title to say hiring over the years. Okay, I'll go to the series. Here I just need to enable the, the trend line option. Okay, it has selected linear and linear model as the as as the default you know trend line. So I'm gonna change this to uh, let me first add the R square and the equation on the chart okay so r square is the coefficient of determination of the r square this basically tells you how much explainable your data on the y-axis is by the x-axis so 95 percent sorry 89 percent it is showing me that uh, i can i am able to predict what would be the hiring trends as per the years go by so let me move this upwards and i will just change this to another type you can play around with this this polynomial is seeming to give me a better uh, accuracy. 95%, you know, R squared is much better. And I can see in the future what will be my will be my trends for hiring. Let's say five time periods in the future. And I can see there's an upward trend. Let me ex expand this to make it more clear. All right. And now the dates have been also vertically aligned and it's very clear and it's, it's a very good visual. Let me just bring this down. Yes. Now uh, let me create a new uh, a new sheet where I store my data. Let me rename this as dashboard. Dashboard. Okay. I uh, will okay. I will remove the grid lines from here. Make it more presentable. Let me copy this uh, report and paste it here. All right. This looks good for now. Okay. Uh, something good also I can also do is I can add a slices tab. So to make the sheet more dynamic, say I click into the pivot table anywhere. I will go to the pivot table in the option and say insert slicer. Okay. And it will add a nice slicer for me so I can see. So I'll select the higher here in the option and it adds, it adds a nice slicer for me so if i i can select the i can say if i want to see the trend from 2000 onwards i can click the multi-select option and select all the years below so now the you can see the chart would have changed it would have refreshed let's take some time yes it has refreshed so it will refresh here as well Let me 
copy the chart again yes so I just copy the chart yep and paste it so let me just As you can see, it is shown from 2000 now. Let me just clear the filter. Okay. And then we'll take another quick analysis, a look at another analysis. Okay. So all have been selected now. Say I want to do some analysis of the annual salary. I want to see the distribution. So I can select this date, this all this data. Control shift down, insert, and I will say insert a box and whisker chart. Okay. I copy this chart, paste it on my dashboard, and voila. Okay, I remove the grid lines again don't need them okay I'm going to show you some neat tricks here okay so what I will do is I will show I will say turn the data labels on and uh, okay so I can see the values okay so it basically shows me the minimum salary is forty thousand dollars the maximum is two two hundred fifty eight thousand four hundred ninety eight dollars and you can see this line is the median that's the there is the quartile number two and this is the uh, quartile one and the quartile three so we can see this data is slightly skewed to the right which means the mean is greater than the median so most of the salaries are, are at the lower range and there are a you know, few salaries 25 percent that means from uh, is is above one lakh fifty thousand dollars so there are future uh, you know, salaries in the higher range but most of the salaries are the lower range and if you want me to make a video on, on how to interpret a you know, box chart, do let me know. I'll make a video on that. But this will give you a quick snapshot of how your data is, is distributed so you can quickly understand the skewness of your data or, or the, and the distribution of your data. I plan to extend this video and make some more videos uh, on, on the same employer data and show you more analysis. So do follow along the series. And if you want me to explain something more specific in the series, do let me know and I'll make a video on that. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.